Hey guys, Dan for danstevers.com here. And uh, we're gonna be talking about duplicating compositions today inside of After Effects and some of the problems you can run into uh, that can seriously screw up your project when you're working on it if you're not understanding uh, the whole uh, concept of pre-comps and how pre-comps work inside of After Effects. And we're also going to be talking about a really cool uh, script that you can uh, use in After Effects that will make duplicating comps way, way, way easier. And uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I've got this scene set up here and we're going to demonstrate um, some of the problems that you run into when you're duplicating comps here. Um, so I've got my main comp here and I've called it orange comp and inside of it um, I've got uh, a pre-comped layer here and this layer has all of our um, if we solo it you can see it it's uh, it's basically the solid color with the type on it and um, so what I'm gonna try and do here is I'm gonna duplicate this orange comp here um, and I'm gonna right click on it Oh, actually, I'll just uh, click on it and hit uh, Command D, and that's going to make a duplicate comp of this uh, composition here. And uh, I'll rename this comp. Uh, I'll call it Blue Comp because we're going to try and make it blue. So we're, I, what I want to have is I want to have one orange version and one blue version. So I'm going to double click on this blue comp here. I'm going to open it up. And uh, so I'm going to go into this type with background layer here. And so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to click on the orange solid here because uh, this is what I want to be changing. This is the background right here. I have the type on top of it, but I, right now I just want to change the color of the background. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up to solid setting here and uh, make it a blue color or something. Just a nice blue. We'll hit OK and nothing happened. Oh, that's because uh, the solid itself isn't the one that's making the color here. I, I've actually got all these uh, adjustments here that I did along the way to try and get that orange color. If I take them all off, there we go. Now we can see the blue color there. Um, so there we go. So we got our blue version there. So now if I go back to blue comp, we can see that uh, it changed everything here. So. Um, so now we should have one blue comp and one orange comp. So let's go back, check our orange comp. Oh, but it looks like our orange comp is now blue for some reason. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the whole idea of pre-comped uh, pre -comped compositions inside of other compositions. Because when you duplicate the main um, composition here, it doesn't change the, uh, the pre-compositions pre inside of the inside of the timeline here. Because if I go, I'm on the orange comp right now, even though it's blue. And if I go back into the type with background layer, I can see if I go into that, well, yeah, I, I, it looks like it's changed to blue here. Uh, if I turn back on all of these, then now it's orange again. But if I go to the blue comp, now it's orange again. So when you're duplicating a composition, you have to duplicate both the main composition, which I did right here. I duplicated the orange composition, we named it blue. But when I went into the blue composition here, I needed to also duplicate this layer right here, the type with background, because it is using the same layer in both of the orange and the blue compositions here. Uh, so when I duplicated the orange comp, it only duplicated the main comp. It didn't duplicate the sub comp inside of uh, both of these compositions here. So the way that we go about duplicating this one, um, this is a way that I do it just to make sure I'm always duplicating the right one because I could just come up here and just click on the type with background and hit control D and duplicate it that way. But when you're working with um, hundreds and hundreds of compositions and pre-comps, I find a better uh, fail safe way to duplicate the comps is to right click on the sub comp here and hit re reveal layer in source project. And what this is going to do is it's going to highlight whatever, it's going to highlight the composition, the uh, sub comp or composition in your timeline in your project window right there. So if I do the same thing with the paper texture and I go reveal layer there, it's going to go straight to it and highlight it for you. So this is the way that I do it just to make sure that I'm always duplicating the right comp. So now that it's highlighted there, I'll hit command D. 
and uh, I'll just leave it uh, called two. And now in order to replace this one with this one, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna hit uh, option key or alt key and uh, drag it right on top of it and then let go. And um, now we noticed the name didn't change here, but that's because, um, see you have options here. This thing right here called layer name or source name. You normally wanna work with the source name because the source name is actually drawing it from the name of the item in the project window up here. Meaning that on the layer name, I could rename this layer like anything. So I could just call this, you know, subcomp but we'll notice that it didn't change the name of it up here it just changed the name of it in the composition or in the timeline down here so it's a, usually a good idea to work with the source name here because that actually corresponds to what's what you'll see up here in your project window um, so now that I hit that you can see it's it's labeled correctly it's typed with background 2 there and so now if we open this up and we go back and I'm gonna turn off all the all of these effects here that are getting the color for me and so now it's blue so now if we look at our blue uh, composition we can see that the backgrounds blue and if we go to our orange composition now it's orange still and the reason is because we had to duplicate both the orange comp itself and we had to duplicate the sub comp within it and replace it with this new one right here so, um, you know, this is a little bit of a time waste doing it, doing it, um, having to deal with one subcomp. But what happens when you have a subcomp? If I needed to go inside of this subcomp and then I needed to go inside of, uh, let's say, this subcomp right here, and then this subcomp is, ha if I need to go into this one, and then this subcomp, I need to go into this subcomp to fix some of the type in here. So you can see if I had to drill this deep, I just drilled about, I don't know, seven layers into this composition here. If I had to drill this deep, every single subcomp within the composition itself, so this would be, so, one subcomp, I'd have to duplicate this subcomp and replace it. I'd have to duplicate reveal layer in, in this subcomp, take this, duplicate this, hold alt, drag it over to this, go into this. I would have to reveal layer, command D, duplicate this one, go into this one, and reveal layer, and command D, and replace this one. So, Okay, so finally I got to the end of the subcomps here. So there's got to be a better way, right? Well, inside of After Effects, unfortunately, there isn't a better way. But there's this awesome uh, script that you can download. And uh, I'll, I'll bring that up right now and show you guys. It is so awesome. It is called the True Comp Duplicator. And what this does is it does what you kind of wish After Effects did naturally when you duplicate a main composition is it duplicates all of the subcomps within it and makes a copy of it. So you keep all the regular subcomps from your first composition and then you also get a duplicated version of all the subcomps within it. So you can go ahead and download it, just hit add to cart here. And uh, now this is, it's technically free, although uh, you can put in whatever price tag you want here. You know, it'd be cool to uh, say thanks to the guy that made this because uh, he did a rad job on it. Uh, so I'll leave that up to you though, um, but I'd encourage you to give something for the script here. But uh, you can go ahead and download it. And so now um, here it is after you download it. It's called the True Comp Duplicator. Now what we have to do is we have to install this inside of After Effects. So uh, we got to go to our applications. We got to find After Effects in here somewhere. Adobe After Effects. We got to go to scripts. And then we go to script UI panels. Now I already have it duplicated, but what you do is you just drag this in right there. I'll just hit replace anyways, just even though I already have it installed. Um, so that will install it there. 
And what you're going to need to do as well is go into Preferences inside of After Effects and go to General. And you're going to want to make sure this, uh, this button right here, Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network, uh, is checked. Uh, it comes unchecked, so you, you're going to have to check that yourself. Uh, hit OK. Uh, you're probably going to need to exit out of After Effects and then restart it just so that the uh, the new script UI is installed or it shows up I should say when we open After Effects so um, okay so now it should be installed we don't see it right now but if you go up to window and you go to true comp duplicator down here on the bottom you're gonna you're gonna see that there so just click on that and it's going to open up this panel here. And the really cool thing about this script is that you can dock it inside of your um, inside of your layout here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll just dock it right there. You can put it anywhere you want um, in your layout. So now we have this docked in here. So let's open up that same project again, and I'll show you how this true um, true comp duplicator works. So, um, so let's try and do the same thing that we did before, except for now we're going to do it with the true comp duplicator. So what you want to do is select the comp that you want to duplicate. Now we're going to go over here and it's going to add a suffix to it. Um, you can either replace the name of it or add a suffix to it. Um, for some reason I like working with the suffixes better, even though your, your names can get kind of long. But let's make a green version of this. So I'll put green as the suffix. And this is a cool thing to have checked here, arrange duplicated comps into new folders so that um, you have a folder containing all of your duplicated stuff. So it's not just, uh, you, you know, you, you could have 20 comps there just uh, sitting in your project file if you don't have this checked. So there we go. Uh, we'll put it in a new folder and we'll name it um, green comp. And now we'll hit duplicate. OK, so. Um, we have our green comp folder over here created. So if we twirl that down, um, now it added a suffix to everything, which maybe can be kind of confusing because our orange comp, uh, our new version is called orange comp green, and everything, every sub comp under here is going to have the same suffix. It's going to have green at the end of it. Uh, so if I go into orange comp green, um, I guess I could just rename this green comp so it's a little less confusing um, but now uh, and I'm gonna switch this back to source name because it was telling us the wrong name before it's kinda misleading so if I hit source name it shows us the real name and now you can see that our layer is now called type with uh, background green here because it's got that suffix on it meaning that it's different than the regular orange comp because the regular orange comp is just called type with background. So, um, man, this is just such an awesome plugin because it saves you so much time having to duplicate all of your sub comps and replace them. So, if we drill down into this, you'll notice that all of these sub comps in here also have the green suffix on them, meaning that these are actual duplicated um, sub comps. And I can go into this again, and you can see that that both of these layers here have green as the suffix so oh man this is just such a time saver such a time saver so if I go into this and I just um, change the background color here I make that an ugly green <laughs> um, so now we have a green comp and I duplicated the orange comp and before and after effects when we did that uh, I would expect it to be green now because because uh, I didn't duplicate the sub comp before, but now it is actually uh, it's different. It's the whole hierarchy has been duplicated, not just the main comp here. Um, so this is just such a huge time saver. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, I know I've spent a lot of time on projects um, duplicating sub comps and replacing them, and having to go 15 layers deep uh, duplicating each one along the way. So I hope it's helpful for you, and uh, yeah, I hope it, it speeds up your working process there. And uh, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.